folks, as you know, we've had a very amazing, courageous scholar among us. This is a person that's inspired us all. And I know that this is a person that I look to for my own inspiration. Because he teaches me how to be brave, how to never give up. And so I'd like to introduce to you someone that you know well. I would love to have Amber De Los Santos to please come up to this stage. campaign in part to honor you as well as to support the children of Chalk. So I'm going to turn over the mic to Barbara Saltzman. Thank you, thank you Principal Shroud, Schroeder. <laughs> I am so proud of all of you and all of that you have read and your many, many acts of kindness that are honoring Amber today and every single day of the year. Amber, we are so proud of you. Every student at Chalk will receive a book just like this. And on the inside, it will say, This Gift of Laughter, donated by the students of Gower Elementary School and the Noble Foundation. This Gift of Laughter, donated in honor of Amber De Los Santos, by her classmates at Gower Elementary. And you may close that now, but you may want to hold on to the Jester Book and Doll for a few minutes because I would like Mayor Tate to come up here and join me in paying another very special tribute to Amber. My assembly member in the state assembly is the Honorable Al Murasachi. And assembly member Murasachi unfortunately couldn't be here today and is so pleased that Mayor Tate is here to join us. Oh, wow. This is, come closer. A, spe a special resolution from the State Assembly for Amber. And also for all of you. And now, with your kind permission, I would like the other two members of the school board and district to come up here and hold this while Mayor Tate and I read what it says. Because it it helps tell us. Okay, can you both hold this together? There you go. You can stand right here. There you go. And we are going to do um, in tandem reading. It's very long. I hope you'll be really quiet and pay attention to the words because they are beautiful. They honor not only Amber and her family but you, your school, your school district, and your entire community for all your kindness. Whereas, on April 11, 2014, Melbourne A. Gower Elementary in the Anaheim School District completing, completed the Reading Makes a Difference Literacy Program that, at, that it began on February 28, 2014, in honor of Amber De Los Santos, an incredibly bright, charming, and optimistic young sixth grader 
who has battling, been battling leukemia since second grade, and... Whereas, as part of this program, which is sponsored by, sponsored by the Noble Foundation, Gower Elementary students, teachers, and school staff have been tracking their free readings since the school's introductory assembly held on February 28th. And whereas, collaborating with the Jester and Farley Fund, a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping children who are ill, especially those with cancer, Gower Elementary participated in the Jester Readathon, which upon its completion resulted in the donation and honor students the opportunity to commit their time and energy to expanding their reading skills while allowing the school's teachers and staffs to better connect with the student body through a common goal. And whereas the beloved daughter of Leilani De Los Santos and the older sister to Brother Mason, who is currently in first grade at Gower, Amber can take comfort from the school-wide support she has received a reflection of the amazing community in which she and her family are fortunate to be included and... Whereas the tireless efforts of Gower Elementary School's community of students, teachers, and staff indicate the truly remarkable possibilities of civic collaboration and generosity of spirit, while Amber De Los Santos' own struggle against leukemia reveals a great personal strength shared only by those who have likewise suffered and endured so much at such a young age. Now therefore, be it resolved by Assemblymember Al Morosucci that he extends his support, admiration, and best wishes to Amber De Los Santos and commends Melbourne Gower Elementary School for its exceptional efforts on behalf of one of its students and myriad other hospitalized children in members resolution number 820 where the kids get to go for all of their treatment for any types of diseases that they have. 
They're very excited to receive these dolls and also the books. Nah. And they truly will make a difference in these kids' lives. So really, thank you so much for all your hard work and all your reading. I really appreciate it. And Chocolate Bear does too. Thanks, bye. Why don't you put down your awards? No, hold it because you're sorry. Two by two. Okay, and Amber, can you please come on the other side of this?